Hey guys, what's going on? Spipperix here, back for another LEGO Ninjago video, and today we have a very exciting video as we will be looking at multiple cancelled LEGO Ninjago spinner designs. Over the past week, we've been lucky to see some behind the scenes on how the packaging for the 2011 to 2012 Ninjago spinners were created and some of the rejected ideas and rejected designs for the packaging of these spinners. So we got this from Tommy Andreessen, as you guys may know, he is the co-creator of Ninjago has a lot to do with not only the storyline but also the design of the products. If you find today's video interesting, please let me know with a like rating down below and also comment your guys' favorite design that we look at. So from this first tweet, we get to see the six early development sketches of possible artwork for the boxes and for the layout of the spinner designs, which I think these are really cool and Tommy noted that he would like to try and find the original like designs, the renders of these, and if he does, he will post them. And let's just say he found quite a few of them. In fact, we have four completely different Lego Ninja designs in full color and detail that were rejected that we'll be looking at in this video and so if you guys don't know much about Ninjago spinners here's a little bit of background information the very first year of Ninjago in 2011 we received the very first wave of spinners and they look like the one here over on the left while in 2012 they got this little piece on top called the spinner crown and of course featured some serpentine as it was the year of the snakes and of course, with that, we got the exquisite Spitta Spinner, which is most likely one of the most valuable Ninjago sets of all time. Okay, yeah, maybe not. It didn't quite make my video for the most valuable Ninjago sets whenever I made that one. You guys can check it out after this one if you guys are interested. But nonetheless, we are going to be checking out some different rejected designs from both of these years, 2011 and 2012. And so I'll point out each one as we go. Let's first start off with one of the rejected 2012 spinner packaging designs. In fact, this is one of my favorites, which is why I want to start off with it. And we can compare it to Tommy Andreessen's original like brainstorming sketch of the box art to what it looks like in graphic design and obviously all the artwork put together using some rendering and some graphic art design skills. Really cool over on the right there. And if we take a look at it in a closer view here, you'll notice that it says Cobra series over on the left. This is supposed to be for 2012. Now remember that as Tommy Andreessen was creating these mock-ups here or these preliminary designs, he did not necessarily have the official graphics for the next season and so he just used this original Kai minifigure from 2011 as a placeholder as well as the cards there and the spinner because the official products were not finalized at this time and overall this was just to serve as a rough idea of what the finished product would look like. So with that being said, just kind of consider the minifigure card diagram diagram and of course the spinner as placeholders we know that Kai spinner is not green obviously but that was just kind of working with you guys can kind of see the scaling in the back there like serpentine scales because this was for 2012 remember something interesting that I noticed right off the bat with this packaging here is the logo for Lego Ninjago because it's in this sort of dark gray color which we've never really seen Legos never used that color for Ninjago and I guess it's you know just blending into the katana there and also the sword guard is a Spinjitsu spinner crown obviously for 2012 so that makes sense I kind of like that it's pretty clever I also kind of like that it looks like Kai has brought up his sword and it's like kind of like fanned out the cards that's kind of a cool effect as well but let's check out the next canceled design so here is another rejected 2012 Ninjago spinner pack design. It has the sketch and the layout so we get to see them side by side once again. And I really like seeing these side by side. It just shows you the development process that goes behind making these products and also just the renditions like how many of these were designed before they pick their final choice. A lot of brainstorming goes into creating Lego sets and not just Ninjago but any Lego set. So this one is another rendition for 2012. I like the nunchucks that Kai is holding obviously you know that's not Kai's golden weapon or that sort of thing but once again it's not supposed to be completely canon to the TV show it's just a sort of idea or a mock-up of what it could be or what the finished design could look like this design would feature the spinner right front and center practically in the very epicenter of this like packaging which I think is an interesting placement I think that's probably maybe one of the reasons why they didn't go with this one just because it would kind of jut out right in the middle and then you would kind of have the card somehow on the side so in a like the fundamental standpoint of how this you know would really work out really not the best and that's probably why they didn't go with it but nonetheless I like the Kai artwork on the very top holding the nunchucks I think that's very unique 
Moving on, let's continue with some more 2012 rejected pack designs for these LEGO Ninjago spinners. We'll look at some of the 2011 ones at the very end. These, like Tommy and Drayson is saying here, comprise a lot of the character themselves with a lot of artwork on them. So here we can see Cobra Kai as, you know, that's kind of a reference if you guys know what we're talking about here. But this one at least has a different color for Kai. It's not a green spinner at least. But this is an interesting approach because it has the character art that you'd see on the main character card of Kai here, as well as the logo or the kind of like trademark image of Kai from Ninjago over on the left side of the pack. Package. Now, honestly, in my opinion, I really like the outcome of this design. It looks very polished and finished. However, the fact that the Ninjago logo isn't right in the middle is kind of bothering me, but that's that's just me. But also, I feel like it looks really good for Kai here because he is the red ninja, right? And there's just a lot of red and orange going on here, so it blends in very nicely. But there are some other characters that it just doesn't work as well with. Now for this design, we also get to see one of the villains kind of take a preliminary spot on it. This is Chopov, one of the Skulkin Warriors from 2011. Obviously, he would be replaced with one of the Serpentine Warriors, I would assume, since this is for the 2012 wave of spinner sets. At least, that's I, I believe that's what this is for. Tommy Andresen said he designed this in 2011, but it was for the next wave of spinner sets, so I would assume that would mean 2012 for this one as well. But you may notice that this one looks a bit different because Chopov's character artwork doesn't cover up one of Kai's eyes and so you notice the differences between the Kai over on the left of the designs here but overall these are pretty cool and I think that they would work even if Lego didn't choose the design that they ended up going with. Now, I mean, with that being said, you have to admit that the end result here with the serpentine snakes on either side of the green ninja in the middle is just, that's just a way more superior design. Uh, I'm not sure if he, you know, kind of experimented with using the green ninja or maybe they weren't that far into development that they didn't even know that that was going to be the main focus of the season. But who really knows? I think Tommy Andreessen is probably the only person who really knows that. Now, on top of all of that, let's look at one of the oldest designs here, or one of the first designs for these spinner sets. It's definitely one of the most uh, rough around the edges and just in your face with the character themselves, as Tommy is explaining here. He created these in 2011 once again, and I almost feel like these could have worked for 2011 more so than 2012, just because I don't feel like these would have as much of an idea towards 2012 just with the Serpentine and the Ninja. That's just my sort of idea. I believe he did create these for 2012, although 2011 would have worked uh, fairly well, I believe, as well. What's interesting here is that each of these sets are very individualized to the character that comes in them. So we have Kai's, we also have Jay's, but yet it says Zane. That's how much of a preliminary design these are. I don't know if you guys have ever seen any preliminary box art for LEGO, but they just like put random things anywhere as long as it kind of just gets the point across of what's going to be there. So with this, it would be Cobra and then whatever the name of the character. I'm surprised, I guess, that they don't have a more uniform look, as we know that the official designs had that main ninja on there, whether that be Kai from 2011 or Lloyd, as in the green ninja from 2012, that kind of joins them all together as one and makes them more, I don't know, uniform amongst all of them, which I really like that idea as opposed to this being unique for every single one. It, they just don't look like as much of a theme that goes together. Um, that's just kind of my opinion though. And while I'm discussing spinners, I may as well just ask this. Do any of you guys watching this video have any of the original spinners from 2011 or 2012? Let me know down below which ones you have or maybe which one is your favorite. This was what got me into Ninjago in the first place, so I can definitely say that Tommy and Drayson and the rest of the LEGO Ninjago team did a perfect job at picking the overall final design for these spinners. But actually something funny is I originally got into Ninjago because at my birthday party back in 2011, what was that like nine years ago? Gosh, that's a long time ago. But I remember two of my friends gifted me this original Ninjago starter set here with Jay and Frackjaw. And I don't remember how many friends I had at the party, maybe like, I don't know, six or seven or something like that. But two of them gifted me this set. That's what got me into Ninjago. And if they didn't, I don't even know if I'd be making these videos right now. But nonetheless, I remember 
getting this set. In fact, you know, I got two of them, right? And so I opened up one, had a lot of fun with it, and took the other one and returned it, because I didn't need two of the same set, and used that money from returning it to buy two more Ninjago spinners. I'm pretty sure I bought Kai and Bonsai, I believe, which is one of the other Skullkin from this wave in 2011. So nonetheless, really cool, but that was just a fun little tidbit I wanted to end off this video. If you guys did enjoy, let me know if they like rating down below. Subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you guys do not miss out on any further Ninjago action and check out one of the videos on screen right now. As always, I'm Spipricks and I'll see you guys in the next video coming very soon.